Hey guys, so Chan here from Laser Gaming. In this video, I'm going to be overviewing some info that we got on the They Shall Not Pass DLC. Sorry if there's some noise in the background. There's some construction going on in my house, and if my voice sounds a bit weird, it's because I'm sick right now. So we're going to try to get through this quickly, and they basically just released this info on the Battlefield 1 website. I'm just going to go through all the information that we have, put some images up on the screen, but sit back, relax, and enjoy this information. So the first map is Verdun Heights. It's the opening barrage of the Battle of Verdun, which was an extremely um, gory battle um, that the French had to actually defend their homeland because the Germans' goal in this battle is basically just to make the French lose as many soldiers as possible um, because they knew that the French would defend Verdun with as much as they could, basically because of nat national pride. And so the Germans basically just wanted this to be an extremely gory battle to weaken the French. And this is an uphill battle towards the massive fortress of Verdun, a constant grinding struggle where the artillery never stops, where the forge and the devil's anvil continues to consume even the bravest combatants. As you can see on the image, it's kind of, there's fire in the background everywhere because the barrages, looks like a really dark map just because of how hectic it's going to be, and I'm pretty excited for this one. The next one is Fort Vaux, and I am probably the most excited for this map. Um, maybe a bit less in Battlefield 1 than previous Battlefield games, but we don't really have an Operation Locker-like map, a really close quarters map. And the only reason why I say a bit less in Battlefield 1 is because of all the grenade spam. This might become problematic, but it's the first big engagement inside a fort during World War 1, and it takes place in the dark underworld of Fort Vaux. Down in the maze of the dark galleries and whetstone corridors, French and Germans fight ferociously with grenades, guns, bayonets, and flamethrowers. Watch your corners. Next map is Soissons, and it takes part in one of the biggest tank assaults of World War I. The French 10th Army moves to take back Soissons using their powerful saint Shaman tanks, planes, tanks, and infantry clash in beautiful French countryside in the early hours of a hot summer day. Only the thunderstorm is louder than the war. So basically, since this one's about tanks, I'm just going to tell you about the two new tanks that we get. So the first one is a behemoth, and it says pilot a steel behemoth, and it's the Char 2C tank, and it's an epic new behemoth, and it's based on the real world French tank, the super heavy beast may turn the tides of the entire battle. So this tank in real life actually housed 12 people, is how big it was, it honestly didn't make it to the war because of how big it was in the prototype, but it was a prototype during the war, and we have seen a lot of that in Battlefield 1, so they actually did produce these, they just never actually used them in combat. And then the next one is the Assault Tank Gun, and there's the Saint Chamon was the most heavily armed allied tank of the war, dominate the battlefield with this impressive French construction. Now the concept image of this looks absolutely awesome, and I'm just really excited to get my hands on this because look how big that front gun is that looks like it could annihilate the enemy. Now we're going to move on to the last map, which is Rupture. And in dire need to capture key bridges across the Essonne River, the French find themselves back into battlefields where poppies grow over a rusty wreck from previous tank battles. It might seem calm, but this maze of steel beasts proves an excellent place for those who plan an ambush. As the sun sets over Fontenoy, the battle wakes up. So it's based on sort of dusk or sunset, and it's going to be really interesting. Maybe it might even turn dark by the end of the map, becoming a night map, which would be pretty cool because you don't really have any of those in Battlefield 1 yet. And obviously the French army joins the fight in this battle, um, don the faction's characteristics blue uniform and defend their homeland. And we also get a new game mode and an elite class in this as well as four weapons. Um, we get information on the new game mode and the elite class but they're holding back information on the weapons for now. So the new game mode is Frontlines and it's basically a, it says it's a mix of Conquest and Brush but it's basically like Hardpoint from Call of Duty. The people fight over a single um, headquarters control point and the game turns into telegraph posts which need to be attacked and defended and it's pretty interesting because you need to capture one single point and then it moves on to a next point and it just seems really interesting um yeah it just seems like a weird game mode but it seems like it should be pretty cool for battlefield one and then lastly the new class is the trench raider elite class it says use the melee skills of this new class to fight through the enemy's trenches with a brutal raider club and impressive grenade arsenal. You will be a terrifying sight. So this will probably be a faster moving class. They can just annihilate enemies in one hit melees with a ton of grenades. So I was talking about this a while back with new elite classes and I said we don't really have a fast moving stealth elite class and this is basically what we get in this DLC which is pretty interesting. 
Lastly, we get a new stationary weapon similar to the field gun the Sieg Hoister can be operated by an inf infantry player. This new stationary weapon is operated through indirect aiming and firing in the same vein as the mortars and artillery in vehicles. So that's pretty much all the information that we have on this DLC right now. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe for much more They Shall Not Pass information. That's been the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.